Over the past few tutorials, we've actually gained quite a few interactors, and there's kind of a problem with that. See, when we're interacting with these game objects, how do we know which one has priority? Well, luckily, today we're going to go over the XR interaction group, which will give us the power to decide who has priority over the other. So let's hop in. The first things I wanted to point out are the grab interactables that we have here. And I have them all set to both interact with the interactable and interactable ignore ray. So it'll work with our ray interactors as well as our grab interactors. But I also have the poke interactable here, if you remember from the poke video, and that will be used for, well, our poke interactor. So how are we going to organize all these interactors that we have. So we have the XR direct interactor, ray interactor, and poke interactor. And the answer is the XR interaction group. So if we go to the left-hand controller, we can just type in XR interaction group, press enter, and we will be given this. And right now it's start asking for starting group members. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this three times, and I am gonna place these here. And so you can see I have the direct interactor, ray interactor, and poke interactor in place. And if we scroll down, we have a few options here. Currently how it's set up, if we didn't decide to click override on any of these, it would actually say whoever comes first in this starting group has priority over the other. So it would say the direct interactor has priority over both the ray and poke, and also the ray interactor has priority over the poke. But you know, the way I like to set things up is based off of what has the most direct interaction with things. For me, I think the poke interactor has higher priority over the direct interactor. So I'm going to go ahead and have that override there. And then I will have the direct interactor override the ray interactor. Now, the last thing it's going to ask for here is the group name. So this group name is going to be how it pulls out which interaction group we're using from the interaction manager. And so we can't just type anything here. It's expecting left or right or center. And I actually found that out by diving into the code. And you can see that here in the code right here. And you might wanna go over the code yourself. They actually have a very nice summary of how all of this works. And if you see here, yes, it's saying left, right, or center is what it's expecting for the group names. Now let's make sure that we're doing this for the right hand. And I have the Ray Interactor not active for the right hand right now. So I'm gonna activate that again. And then again, I'm just gonna go XR Interaction Group and I am going to zoom right through this really quickly. All right, there we are. And you know what? It should grab the XR Interaction Manager when it boots up. But just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and drag the Interaction Manager here and then go back to my left hand controller and drag it there. All right, let's boot up the scene and see what we have. Now, booting up the scene, you can see I can grab objects with the ray still, but when I get close to it with the direct interactor, it actually turns off the ray, and I can still pick up the cube. So that's the override working there, and then when I go over here to poke, the poke still works and also turns off the ray. So there we are. That is the XR Interaction Group. So yeah, a quick little tutorial. Let me know how you end up using the XR Interaction Group. And to my Patreon members, thank you as always for keeping me afloat. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.